Hi, my name's Mark and I have a patchy beard. That said, I've just finished growing the yeard, which is years worth of growth. I'm happy with it. Most people are very complimentary. Why did I start? I'm not entirely sure. I just decided one day I was going to do it and I've done it. Um, it's not been easy, but it has been enjoyable. There have been challenges. I have to be a bit, lot more mindful when I eat. Kissing is a problem with a moustache like this. Despite the challenges, I would say the benefits and the positives far outweigh the negatives. And I really wouldn't go back. I'm doing this video mostly to not inspire because I think that's a bit too cliche. It's a little bit too self-indulgent. However, I really did find other people's videos, stories, um, their journey actually quite helpful in the beginning, uh, particularly when I was having doubts. And so if there's any way that I can help any guys out there who have concerns that they have a patchy beard, then I'll be happy with that. At the end of this video, I'll put a collage of photographs of progress, just to show really um, the different stages and also show that I did have a patchy beard and I still have a patchy beard and I'll give you an example if you look to my if I'm going to turn to the sides I mean I don't know what it looks like at this moment in time however you can probably see that my cheeks aren't the strongest part of my my facial hair but as is a very common phrase you just got to grow what you've got and uh, there's a reason why that phrase is quite popular I think it's probably because it's true I've got a number of tips and these are all personal to me but they may be transferable and somebody might find them useful and some of them are very similar to other tips that other people have given again probably because there's some truth to that take them and leave them as, as, as you will uh, everybody's everybody's beard is different everybody's situation is different everybody's journey is different um, so it's not for any one person to dictate to any other person you know what they should and shouldn't do but you might find that some of these tips are quite useful I think the top one which I've already mentioned is just grow it that is the most common uh, advice given by anybody who's encouraging others to grow a beard is to just grow it and I really have to agree I think for me creating a routine is really important I created a routine early on and in all honesty it's made me a better person I'm a lot more organized I'm not very conscientious I'm pretty chaotic most of the time and actually growing a beard has actually given me some structure in my day in my life this kind of structure the having a routine is going to be you know key to you know improving myself and my situation so yeah routine is has been key to me I think that's the top tip anybody can give you is to get yourself into a really good routine a third tip is to get inspired it's really hard when you're first growing a beard if you've never done it before like me and um, there is a lot of you've got a lot of worries and concerns you worry about what people think how people react what you look like so I think in those early stages it's really important to get inspired and what I mean by this is perhaps go on beard forums, look at people who are going through their own beard growing journey, I don't like to use the term journey, but um, a lot of people post on the forums their progress and this can be really inspirational. You're in those early stages when your beard might be itchy, when it's looking a bit messy, seeing other people's progress uh, going from you know stubble to full-on beard and seeing how unique each beard is is a real inspiration and I'd say that was really a real motivating force for me early on wondering what my beard could look like so my third tip is get inspired go go and look on YouTube to see people doing vlog beard vlogs go on beard forums look at photos in general on top of that I would say look at friends who already got beards as well um, ask them questions just to observe them I'd say my fourth tip is get past the first three months 
first three months are the hardest, it will look the most messy, it will be something that you're really not used to, you might be getting some negative feedback from those close to you about how it looks, um, and I think in those early stages, in those first three months, you're more likely to have those doubts and want to shave it off, so I think getting past those first three months is key. Once you get past those three months, you do actually start to see your beard taking shape. It doesn't take a lot longer after that for you to start noticing and then that I think once you get past that three months and you start seeing a beard truly forming you you're more likely to carry on and, and see it to the end. So my next tip is trim if necessary. Um, it's common for people to give advice for you to trim your neckline early on and I would agree with that completely. In those early stages when it's looking messy I think trimming your neckline can actually make it look so much neater. Um, I'm not going to talk about the neckline, there's lots of videos on, on how to trim your neckline, it's, it's really not that complicated. But extending to trimming your neckline, I would say there may come points where you it's looking really messy and you just want a fancier trim. I did trim very briefly, um, I did trim for a wedding that I was attending just to make it look a little bit neater and I'm really pleased I did, um, so I just, and what that involved was me just trimming trimming the sides a little bit just to make it look look a little bit more neat and tidy and that was fine that was absolutely fine to do that don't trim excessively if it's going to be a trim make it really minimal in my case it was just a few bits of the sides um, nothing major um, and if you do go too far with a trim just stop and just let it grow you don't have to trim your beard but what I would say is you have to take more care of your haircut I think as much as I don't want to look just like every other bearded man out there and there's very popular haircuts out there with, with beards such as the fade and the short back and sides but I do think there is a reason why this is so popular with a beard and I think it's because it just looks tidy. If you've got a job and you're trying to convince other people around you to be positive about your beard I think looking tidy can help and persuade a lot of people. Uh, about your, your continuing growing of your beard. I, I certainly think it looks a lot more professional, neater, um, and that may come across in the collage of photos that I'll show at the end of the video. So here, so I'd say one of my tips is cutting your hair and trimming it and making sure your hair looks tidy because if your hair looks tidy, your beard is gonna look a lot tidier. Next tip is love your beard. Learn to love your beard. It sounds weird. I'm not, it's not about loving yourself, it's about loving your beard. I actually love my beard, I never thought I would, it's about the best thing about me. I've never been big headed, I've never been overly confident, uh, I've never been the kind of person to say oh I'm so good looking or anything like that because uh, I'm really quite mediocre and I'm okay with that but I would say I have learned to love my beard. I would sometimes I think to myself it's not really part of me because it's, it's something I love so much. Maybe I'm going to get a lot of criticism and negativity about this, but I think that a selfie goes a long way when you're growing your beard. I've done very few selfies up until growing my beard. What I found is that the filters, just playing around with the different styles of photos that you can make, the profiles, etc., um, actually makes your beard look really cool, and that can be really helpful again for that motivation, and it can certainly help with loving your beard. My tip is to love your beard, no matter what other people are saying. If you want to reach whatever goal it is you're wanting to reach, I think loving your beard is essential. I think, as well, I would advocate using a biotin supplement. I get a cheap supply of biotin from a company online. I don't have to spend a lot of money, um, so I take biotin every day, but I also do take a lot of other multivitamins. I do try and get good sleep and try and have enough protein, because all of these things are going to help promote a healthy beard. So they're my main tips really. I think the main the main thing to consider about when growing, when growing a beard is that you should be doing it for yourself and you should be actively looking for motivation. You start looking around and noticing other people's beards and realise that everybody's beard is unique and I love that. I look back at old photos of old family members and notice that I actually have exactly the same moustache as one of my great great grandfathers um, and I love that. I love that there's um, some way of connecting me to my ancestry and my past. I've been terrible at, at setting goals all my life 
This is about one of the few goals that I've set myself to do and I've achieved it. And that will hopefully propel me to achieve other goals as well because I've managed to do this. It seems trivial, but when you've never actually succeeded in completing a goal, however trivial and small it may be to other people, it's quite a big thing for me. So what now for me? Now that I've hit my year, I think I did say that I would get to a year and see what I was going to do. I'm always going to have a beard. I think I will trim it uh, to a more reasonable length. Although reasonable is subjective. I think I'm considering just growing more out. I, as I say, I did trim the sides and I'd like to see what happens when I just grow this, this area out a bit. Um, so I might give it another six months and then before I decide to trim it completely. Be interested to see what other people think, whether I should kind of trim it at all or carry on growing it. So before I go, I just want to say, you know, don't think that just because you have a patchy beard or feel that you have a patchy beard that you can't grow a beard. I think it's fair to say I do have a beard and I'm very happy with it. Find your style, decide what you want. For me, a moustache is a must have, but it isn't for everyone. Don't worry about what other people think, although it is very easy to get lost in what other people think. Good luck in growing your beard. I'll leave you with the collage of my beard progress. That's me done.